Hi there, checking out from my hotel, well, hostel, here in Tallinn, saying goodbye to this view. I want to show you real quick the common room downstairs and uh, then we try and catch a luxurious bus to Bernu. Should be fun, well, at least for me. Here we have the common room at the hotel. Really nice. An old computer. Photograph of the mirror gate. Some Tallinn doors. Very pretty world map. You know, because it's a hostel, so you can show your country. Like, hmm, I'm from Oman. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Tanzania. Are you maybe from Peru? Mm. You know, it's funny. <laughs> uh, then we have a map of Estonia. So we are here in Tallinn. I'm going to uh, travel to Pernu. So basically like this. I'm going to take a bus here and take a ferry from this uh, Munalaid to Kichnu. So, Tallinn, Pernu, a bus to Munalaid, and then a ferry to Kichnu Island. Like this small island here. Really pretty for a common room. Flat screen TV. Can talk here to your pals, have a drink. Some lockers and games room. Time to leave. Let's uh, get a tram, one of these beautiful trams. Go to uh, go to Tallinn bus, main bus stop, and from there to Pernu for the first time in my life. Let's see. Come on, join me. This is Lux Express, 5 euros for a 2 hour ride between Tallinn and Pernal. It's really cheap and yeah, very nice, comfortable seats, plenty of space, free entertainment, a small toilet if you really have to go, <laughs> couldn't ask for more. I will, I will write their website in the description, it's not a sponsored video of course, but uh, I think it's very useful when there's no train connection for your selected route here in the Baltic states. At least in Estonia and Latvia it works for sure. I'm not sure about Lithuania, but... You have an interactive map so you can check your location at any given point. Um, you can watch your favorite Christmas movies, for example, or some series, I don't know. Mm, this may come in handy if you forgot your means of entertainment at home. You can also play some games and, I don't know, they, they offer a lot of stuff. You can check them out next time you're in Estonia, or Latvia for that matter. It's Pernu, birthplace of Estonia. Well, is it? church there. This beautiful street and a nice snowy park here. Very nice. I've just arrived 
going to the hotel now I'm going to my uh, guest house which is on this street I like it already okay I'll just leave my luggage hopefully I can check in and then let's explore Pernol Look at this lovely street. Colorful houses, green, red. Looks a bit western <laughs> with this grill and pizza here and a bit Christmassy. And here we have uh, the old Elizabeth Church. Probably one of the one of the oldest buildings in town, I guess. I've heard there are three churches in Old Town Perno. Maybe there are more, but at least uh, three of them are more important. And this is one of them. I don't know if we can enter, probably not. But uh, yeah, the building looks good from the outside. I couldn't check in. It's 1.20 p.m. And uh, the lady at the reception said, no, no, it's 2. You have to come at 2 p.m. I couldn't even leave my luggage. Well, well, basically it's just this backpack. So I don't necessarily need to leave it. I kind of have some stuff that I need uh, with me at all times, like batteries and SD cards. And I don't really want to unpack anyway, because uh, uh, I, won't, I won't be spending much time in Perno on this occasion. So maybe it's better like this. Carry my house in my back like a snail. Christmas tree up there. And a bigger Christmas tree here. Could be the main tree in the in the city. And could be the main tree in town. So this is uh, Rutli Street. It's probably the main street in town. Looks really nice. Let's just uh, walk Rutli Street and see what's going on here. Okay, a few shops, some alpaca stuff. Very quiet. I mean, Perno is a very touristic uh, town here in Estonia. You would not believe that considering how quiet it is uh, now. But uh, I suppose not many people come here in the winter. This is the summer capital of Estonia for many years now. And why is that? Because uh, Because there's a huge beach, sandy beach, here at the Baltic Sea. And uh, in the summer you can uh, swim, you can, you know, have a great time, cocktails, snacks, and, uh, you know, all the fun beach stuff that people do. Well, I chose to come visit in the winter. Maybe there's a snowy beach. We're going to check it out soon, I suppose. And this is uh, Johan Voldemar Janssen. He's an important figure in Estonian history. He lived in the 19th century. 
So now there's a memorial for uh, Mr. Voldemort Janssen. Love these buildings. <laughs> I like the vibe of the town. It's really nice. Probably what you may find extremely packed during the summer. Uh, it's really peaceful. Peace and quiet here. And here we have uh, another one of these uh, very important churches in uh, central uh, Pernu. Church of Katrina. And some more colorful buildings in this small park. There are many small beautiful parks here in Pernu. And uh, Here's a polar bear and a cob. <laughs> That's really sweet. Polar bear. Look at its uh, left paw walking towards the cob. Look at the silly face of the cob there. Cute and innocent. I love bears. Okay. Saint Katrina. Looks really nice. Green. And a bunch of elephants. I think somewhere this direction. Wait, somewhere there? I don't know. It's the town hall. Let's go check it out. Okay, probably some pubs here and restaurants. Look at this beautiful building. So this is the town hall. Or as it's written there, town hall extension. City council building. It's an Estonian flag on the left and uh, Scottish flag on the right. That's interesting. Beautiful building. They really know how to make beautiful doors here in uh, Estonia. All right, now I got it. So this is the town hall. Look at it, it's pretty. This is basically the main building, town hall. Pernu town hall. And they have a similar beautiful door. Look at it. And uh, if you go left there, where you see the flags, and this would be the town hall extension. So basically it's, uh, it's two buildings together, and this is the town hall extension. And I found out, I was wondering why was there a Scottish flag next to the Estonian one? It didn't make, make much sense for me. I thought maybe there's some piece of history that I don't know. So I checked it and it seems like uh, this is not a Scottish flag. Look here, the two buildings united. It's not, uh, apparently it's not a Scottish flag. It's, uh, it's the flag of the city. So this is the flag of Pernu. That looks a lot like a Scottish flag, but apparently it's not. Maybe someone from Pernu can, uh, can uh, tell me, write a comment. Is there anything like history wise? Is there any connection between Pernu and Scotland? Where, where did they uh, get this flag from? Or is it just a coincidence? It can very well be. All right, that was the town hall.
Another lovely street in the old town Perno. And uh, yeah, another one of these uh, Perno flags. By the way, if I mispronounce the name of the town, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but it's gonna be like this uh, throughout the video. <laughs> Hopefully it's correct. Probably it's not. <laughs> hmm. Very blue house here. Yeah? All right, so this beautiful building here is apparently uh, the Maria Magdalena Guild. Estonian art and handicraft. They are doing all kinds of things here. Look, they're sewing, decorating stuff, making shoes and pottery, painting different whatever objects, decorations and stuff. Look here, a photo of this, uh, let's call it family. Maria Magdalena Guild. And this kid over here, he has a, he even has a Maria Magdalena Guild a tattooed on his uh, hand and he seems very happy about it. So, pay them a visit if you're into this uh, kind of stuff. It's a very beautiful house, I like it. Perno gangsters made some graffitis here. This is nice. Wow, gangsters everywhere in Perno. Who would have thought? This one is the Red Tower. I don't know if we can visit inside or not. We can check it out. But uh, yeah, the internet says it's one of the best things to do or to see, apparently in Perno. The Red Tower, Panorama Cinema. 360 degrees of history. I'm in. I'm hooked. Okay, so archaeological discoveries. And a very beautiful Christmas tree in front of the Red Tower. What are these? Apples. Christmas tree with apples. Very nice. And here apparently we have a game called the Mill Game. It's a strat strategy board game dating uh, to the Roman Empire at least, if not longer. I suppose it's, uh, maybe you can play it here, in the summer, and uh, we have the rules uh, explained. So if you come here in the summer, maybe you can check the meal game. Let's see, it's, in, it's uh, until 18 o'clock, so I'm gonna check it later. Maybe when it's dark outside, the sun is setting really early in the winter, 3, 3.30 max. So yeah, I want to maybe film a bit while uh, there's still light outside, light outside and uh, I'll come back later to the Red Tower. And again, Rutli, 
the main street in Perno. A very beautiful street. Maybe it's time for the check-in now, finally, I suppose. guys made it to the room and uh, yeah I'm very happy and excited because everything looks so great and uh, apparently I couldn't check in earlier because uh, the reception was not open and uh, the person who told me I cannot check in was uh, probably like a cleaning uh, lady or, or a cleaning personnel um, so yeah I, I managed to check in uh, there was a very uh, lovely uh, a lady who showed me everything and told me that uh, I'm gonna be alone in the whole uh, guest house uh, for the night so I'm gonna have all the rooms for myself well not really because uh, yeah I'm not gonna <laughs> enter any other rooms but uh, here's my key and they uh, even offered me a discount because I'm the only person here at the hotel so I'm not gonna get breakfast in the morning, which is included, and they are not gonna prepare breakfast just for me, apparently, because I suppose they will just come at 2 p.m. when they uh, open again. So they offered me a 20% discount. Well, to be honest, I didn't take it because um, I'm gonna leave at 6.50 in the morning, so I would not get uh, breakfast anyway, but uh, the gesture was uh, absolutely lo lovely. So yeah, I'm very excited, uh, sorry for my appearance, hair and everything, but uh, you know, with these uh, freezing temperatures, wearing the hat all the time, it gets a bit up. All right, so let's uh, check the room real quickly before I mess it up with my stuff. Okay, so here we have a big mirror and some drawers. Here's a very big bed, all for myself. Nicely decorated. Some more drawers, night lamp, a window there. I don't think it's gonna be much of a view, but yeah. And uh, a really cute corner here with a desk and uh, some free cookies, a book. I don't know, I don't think it's a Bible. No, it's not even a book, it's a fake book. With playing cards and a sewing kit. Remote control for this uh, flat screen TV. A refrigerator in which I get a free bottle of water. Microwave. Um, iron, a coffee machine. And uh, here, a kettle, so I can make myself some tea later, if I feel like, maybe. Pretty chair, yet another mirror. Okay, um, safe, down there. Couple of uh, mugs and uh, glasses and here a lot of uh, free stuff you know um, like Nesquik cocoa or three in one coffee or whatever Nest whatever it is some free cookies cutlery very nice let's take the view a little bit Yeah, uh, it's a very tiny street. Some snow. Candle. Air conditioning. Cute double room, all for myself. Beautiful 
sink with a huge mirror, soap, pretty towels, and uh, wow, cotton buds, shaving kit, toothbrush, even toothpaste. Hi again. Shower cabin. Mm. I'm gonna use this before I go to bed. Nice. Okay, so that was the quick toilet tour. I'm more than satisfied with this. Too bad I don't spend uh, more days here. Would have been fun, you know, just to chill in good old Perno. Enjoy this hotel room. Yeah, well. If you want to check this guest house, if you want to book this room or another room, they have uh, many beautiful ones. Uh, I'm gonna uh, put a link uh, in the description. So click there, check it out. Maybe book next time you come to Pernu.